What's up guys, Tomo here, welcome back to Survival! We are back in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves full diamond armor, so what the next few things that I need to do in preparation for the Ender Dragon fight is possibly get more Eyes of Ender, I'm not necessarily sure how much I need, I actually have a screenshot that tells me exactly how many I need, probably gonna have to look at that, but I do have the coordinates to everything because I wrote them down right before the video started because, you know, I had just had screenshots of the stuff that I had in the past, but, yes, full diamond armor, we need to enchant that to level 30 for each and every piece, that's gonna be a big pain in the ass. We have a bow, that's good, we need arrows, do we have arrows? We probably do somewhere, um, yep, we have five right there, that's not necessarily the most helpful thing, but, in this episode, what we are going to try to do is collect enough Sorry, we're, we're going to try to collect some melon seeds, and the reason for that being is we need to grow watermelons, and then we can take those watermelons, break those watermelons, we get little slices of watermelons, and we combine them with a bunch of uh, ingots, or no, they're not ingots, um, what are they called, uh, nuggets of gold to make glistering melons, and we could use those glistering melons to make healing potions, which we will need in the fight against the Ender Dragon. And in order to do that, we are going to be searching throughout these um, caves, what do we call it, abandoned mines? Yeah, I bet we're going to search through the abandoned mines in order to find ourselves the, what do you call it, yes, the <laughs> melon seeds. Hopefully there will be chests that have them, because this is probably one of the few places in the, in the entire game that you can actually get them. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if you can actually get them in... Um, as a drop from skeleton or from zombies, but you might be able to. I'm not sure. I know you get uh, carrots from them, but I'm not necessarily sure about anything else. Anyways, let's keep on going. I gotta find myself some chests. Uh, so, if um, you guys are wondering, this video is gonna be cut off at 20 minutes, which means nothing to you because usually the minutes or the uh, episodes are 20 minutes long in the first place. But uh, if you're wondering why there's gonna be an outro at the end of this video, that's why because uh, it's just gonna be a, a total of 20 minutes. I'm not gonna record the whole hour at once like I usually do, mostly because it's like 9:30 right or 9:13 right now as I'm recording this and. Um, what it, what it means is uh, if I were to go record the entire hour and I would go to try to render out like a, a piece, I would already have uh, ran out of time and I wouldn't be able to upload this on time. Hopefully this came out on time. I'm not necessarily sure uh, if it is. By the way, if you're wondering why I have procrastinated the upload of um, the the survival, if it's um, or like the recording of it, is because last night I went out and actually had a social life. I went to a bonfire at the beach and I had lots of fun and... Yeah, I came home and it was like 10.30 and I was really tired, so I was just like, oh, screw it, I'll do it in the morning. And now it's the morning, so that's my explanation. There's no nothing more that I need to explain to you people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all right, let's keep on going over here. Is there anything that I can find? I need to find it. Just come on, I know there's, it's got to be somewhere here, because I I I'm pretty sure I haven't explored this yet. At least, I hope I haven't, because if I did, that would be bad. That would be bad. Nope, nothing over here, of course. Of course. Nope, he's going to... Put a torch there. Look at that. And all the water goes bye-bye. Because that's how Minecraft physics work. Okay, um... No, there's just nothing I can't find. Any Why? Why? I need the melon seeds. I need the melon seeds. Maybe if I make a, a right over here. Ooh, I haven't explored this area yet. And this is long and expansive and stuff. Okay, I probably should put down torches. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. It might be too dark. Who even knows? Who even knows? All right. Keep on going down this way. Is there evidence that I've placed anything? Nope, there isn't, but there wasn't anything at the end of this corner anyway. So something that we were talking about at the bonfire, because, you know, what's a bonfire without having some conversations with your buddies and pals? Uh, one thing we talked about is, um, you know, we had this, it was, it was sort of like a mini argument about why girls do certain things that they do and why boys do certain things that they do like so sort of, like we were talking about basically like why do girls have to go into the bathrooms in huge groups and then most of the time everyone yelled out because we don't want to get raped but um i mean okay that, that that's i guess a good argument it's just a weird one and um the thing that, I, that, that interests me more is um the fact that um what i was i forgot that boys act specific ways and then girls act specific ways so obviously um in, in a feminist stand like kind of way um, I'm trying to figure out the proper wording for this. Um, girls are a lot more affectionate towards one another, and it's not considered, you know... Um, I'm, I'm just going to use the word gay because, you know, I'm just just going to use it because that's just simple. I'm not going to be like, it doesn't seem homosexual because eventually it's just going to be um, kind of just repeating itself. Anyways, it, it, it doesn't make them a gay person, right? Um... As opposed to a guy, when he, you know, like, gives him, like, a, a long a long hug that isn't, you know, just like a bro hug, it's considered, like, a little bit strange or, you know, gay. And I, I always thought to myself, I was like, hmm, that's actually kind of weird. And we were, ba and basically, um, I sat there, like, li listening to it in an objective standpoint uh, while uh, my friends argued with one another. And it, it, was, it is really kind of strange how um, a guy can't, you know, 
cuddle with this other man. See, it's just me, me even talking about it sounds weird. Uh, while girls, you know, they, they cuddle and watch a movie or whatever, and it's just fine. And it takes me back to, like, why is that a thing? Is it genetics? Possibly. Who knows? But something, somewhere, makes people think that, um, in their brains, it makes them think that this isn't a good thing to do because it's not socially acceptable. And uh, me personally, like, I'm wondering why it's not socially acceptable for guys to, you know, just give each other hugs, paint each other's nails. Okay, I'm just kidding about that part. But, um, you know, show more affection and not be considered strange or abnormal um, as girls do when it's just fine. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious what you guys have to think about that because I honestly have no idea. Why is it that it's not socially acceptable for guys to show affection towards one another without it being considered gay? And, um... Yeah, so discuss that one in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say. Uh, where the heck is... Oh, there's, like, no chests in this place. There's, like, nothing. Um, I'm probably going to get lost. I'm about to find, like, dig my way out. Mm, oh, well. I wrote down the coordinates to everything but my house. Why is this... There's no sound. Oh, there we go. i got the sound going now. I just, apparently, I didn't turn on my headphones before we started this recording. I always end up doing that. Okay, anything over here? No chests. Man, this is the greatest band in my shop that I've ever been in. Like, it's crazy how amazing it is, right? Alright. Ooh, over here. Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh, you just got destroyed. I have, like, a little bit of the burps going on right now. A little bit. Okay. Let's go on over here. Oh, hello. So, you know what's funny? One thing that I uh, ended up doing yesterday... Oh, what the heck? I'm just, I was confused about my location for a moment. Um, right. So, one thing that's funny is there's this um, girl that I met for the first time. Her name's uh, Tatum. Yeah. Uh, like, like, yeah, like Channing, like, that's what I instantly thought, you know, but anyways, um, she was, uh, getting texts from this guy who was being a complete douchebag, and as she liked to put it, um, she was, she, the guy was called a, uh, a pussy pansy, which is a great phrase, I'm sure to use it in the future, um, but it's basically this guy who's just, like, really, really wanted to get some and then just quit it, and, um, he was being a complete asshole in the text, so I was just like, hey, you want me, mind if I run the, run the conversation for you? And she's like, eh, who cares, right? Because she didn't, you know, care about him in any particular way. So I went and uh, kind of destroyed him, um, like, logically. And uh, he turns out uh, the words that I used in order to, like, destroy him, uh, he didn't understand the words. Like, um, and I was just like, he didn't know what the word objectify meant. He didn't know, know what the word feminism me meant. And he didn't know what the word, uh, what was it? What was it? Hmm. I can't even remember. Uh, whew, what was the word? The bird is the word. Ah, whatever. But yeah, he, he was like, he's so stupid in a sense that he just couldn't understand the words I was using to destroy him. And I was just like, really, man? Really? Ooh, wow, a ravine. But whatever. Oh, no, that's lava. That is some lava. Just go over here and boom, save myself. That's how we do. Ooh, there's a, um, what do you call it over there? There's a, a spawner of the, um, what do you call it, variety? The A spawner of the poisonous cave spider variety. Yes. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This is cool. I'm glad I started exploring. This is awesome. Okay, let's head on this way. Yep, where's the spawner? Unless I already destroyed it. I probably already destroyed it. Nope, it's right there. Leave me alone. No one likes those kinds of spawners. Ooh, look at that. I didn't know you get XP for destroying those things. That's kind of cool. Going through. Coming through. Leave me... Uh, oh, there we go. There's a chest. What's in it? There's nothing. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, wait. That's because it's the... Wow. It's, it's just towards the area that I was actually going to start my mind. Uh, or I started my mind a while ago. Okay. Let's head on this way. Put more torches down just so you guys can see what is going on. Wait, I think I've been here before. Have I? I feel like I have because I was looking for diamonds or something and I came over here. But why wouldn't I have placed any torches? Whatever. Okay. Ooh, there's... I'm going to head up there because actually, yeah, it seems like there's more of a, an abandoned mine shaft up top than there is right here. Okay. Come on, fighting the current. Fighting the current. All right, we're going to head on up right now. Wait, just get place that block and jump on up. There's someone closed the door and it was loud. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, boom, and we go on a little bit. Ooh, dang, oh, I missed it. Uh, actually, I could just break the block. Why not? Why not? And boom. You know, why not is a Pokemon. It's uh, the pre-evolved form of Wobbuffet, I think. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure. Ooh, going up here. Let's see if there's more of this abandoned mine shaft. Yes, there is. Ooh, well, it goes a little bit high. It's kind of weird how, like, the caves combine with the, uh, the mine shafts and the coating's a little bit screwed up, so they kind of, like, merge into each other and it doesn't look right. But, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, something that's cool. Okay, there's obviously nothing this way, so we're gonna head, up, head on over here. I need to stop looking forward just like, like that. 
Okay, ooh, there we go. There must be something here. Be a chest, be a chest. No chest this way. There's people talking way too loud in the other room. Yeah, gosh, man. Can, can't they see the don't leave, leave me alone I'm recording sign? Okay, there was some gold, some ingots, some redstone, but there was no... Uh, nothing I really needed, so. Where are the melon seeds? Where are the melon seeds? That's gonna be the title of the video. Melon Seed Adventure or something like that. Okay, um, come on then. Come on. Okay, maybe this way? Maybe this way. Ooh, we're going a little bit higher here. Higher still. Okay, maybe, maybe, nothing. Ooh, there's a, another cave site, spider spawner, and I have been poisoned. Break you. Give me that XP for getting it. Thank you. Gonna get poisoned for a little while. Okay, one away. Uh, nothing that way. Maybe anything here? Nope. Wait, maybe if I break this. Yes, yes, no, maybe, maybe so. Okay, nothing. Uh, okay, <laughs> I guess this is just basically a bunch of gravel. Unless I can keep the... It, it keeps going. Yes, it does keep going. I suspected it in my brain. Okay. Um, well, that actually looks kind of cool, how it's blocked by the fence post. Uh, it's cool. It's a cool act of nature, as I like to say. Okay. Anything here? No. Why? Why not? Okay, I guess we're going to have to go through here again. Collect all that string, because why not? We can make some bows later. That's, that should be my catchphrase. Why not? All right, I'm just gonna sit back and relax. Sit back, relax, relapse again. Uh, anything over here? No, this is, I don't think it keeps going, huh? I believe that is the end of this tunnel. Is it the end? Yeah, it's the end. Well then, well then, we're gonna head this way. What, what's my Y axis? Oh, we're at 41. Ooh, we could go down. Going down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. SpongeBob and friends are happy as can be. Don't remember the words to that song, but we're going to assume those were the words. All right. Anything here? Nope. That was the way we were just were. Anything this way? Yes, there is. But is that a dead end? I believe that is a dead end. Darn. Well, then. Why are there no chests with anything useful in them? Please, let me have one or something. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Eh, get out of here. Ew. Ew. Spider webs are icky. Um... I remember one time, I, I, I might have told this story before, but it's, it's relevant, so I'm going to tell it again. One time I was, uh, was back at, uh, back in, let's say, fourth grade, I was uh, going to my, going to school, and it was, it, there's a, like, there's a sort of thing called, like, spider season at my, uh, in my neighborhood, or, you know, in my state, where usually in the months of, like, September to, I don't know, like, maybe January, uh, wait, was there another layer to that? Yeah, there is, okay, um, there's a lot of spiders everywhere. It's just it's just a thing. I don't know why, but there's just spiders everywhere. And uh, needless to say, it's a very scary time of the year. And so what happened was I was getting I was getting ready to go to school, so, and then uh, my mom drives drives me to school at this point because you know why would I be driving to school in fourth grade unless I'm a, like a huge ball or pimp status mother trucker? But that's uh, that didn't happen. So my mom we're getting going outside, and then I walk, and then uh, overhanging the house and attached to the part of the car, there's a spider web. And I accidentally run into it, and I'm just like, ew, 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 spider web, spider web, get off me, get off me, get off. Why is there all oh, so many of these? Jeez, I'm gonna break that one too. Um, and I was, free, I was freaking out because you know spiders are scary. And what ended up happening was there was a there was a spider on the spider web, and it's about this big. So I don't know, it's it's maybe like a little bit larger than a quarter. Maybe it's like maybe it's like silver dollar sized if you guys know that and it just lands on my head I'm just, so I'm just freaking out. I'm like holy shit holy cow mother ah it was like freaking out for a good 10 seconds get the spider off of me like freak out it's like it's on the floor and it, as soon as it gets on the floor I just stomp on it and it's dead and I was just like thank god that's over and then I went to school traumatized for the rest of my life of spiders and yeah I'm still scared of spiders now that's probably why I, I'm, I'm afraid of spiders because Jesus that was just the scariest thing it was, oh my gosh, don't, no, it's, it's very, mm, don't make me relive that ever, ever again, it's the very, it's the scariest thing that's ever happened to me, um, or at least one of them. Ooh, thank you for the XP. Die, 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 oh, I'm poisoned, why, why, whatever, okay, oh, what, my sound went out again, thank you, sound, okay, there goes my hunger, but I'm not gonna eat this yet because I, this is my last piece of food. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to find melon seeds, that is very, um, depressing. Uh, maybe if we go this way, we could find some. Hopefully, okay, I can't eat this now. Om nom 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 nom
Ooh, this way, maybe? Anything really? Uh, like, what are the odds of, like, chess spawning in a in an abandoned mine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> in an abandoned mine shaft, because it seems so easy for me sometimes, and then it's always so hard sometimes. Why is it got to be one or the other? Why can't it be just easy and hard at the same way? I just said that. Never mind. Um, where was I? Where was I just at? Let's head this way. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm beginning to get a little bit lost. Great. Ugh. I burped. Wait, I think I actually did come from that way. I did come from this direction. One direction. Best best band ever. Okay. Um, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, where, oh, look at this. Hey, this, there's more stuff up here. This, this thing goes, like, forever in a bunch of different directions. Okay, anything here? No, probably should place torches. Probably should, so I know where I'm going. Uh, anything here? Nope, there is nothing here. Oh wait, this goes on further. Look at that. Look at that! What's this? Does this go over the ravine? No, but there's this cool stuff over here. Maybe there's a chest. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? Man, I probably shouldn't have loaded this on 1.6 chunks, and then it would probably regenerate with new chunks in, um... 1.7, so it's, it like I probably like got rid of all the chests that were there. Um, that's that's my guesstimate. Like, I could be wrong. I could be right. Who knows? Okay, there's nothing again, so might as well just go back in. Going back, back, back to the ba mine shaft. Alrighty then. Nothing here. We could keep going. We could go down from here. We could head in this direction. We're gonna head this way, and then when it's most definitely a dead end, we'll come back. Nope. Nothing. Look at that. Wait, ooh, this way. Wait, is this the same exact thing I was just... Yep, it was. It is definitely the same exact thing I was just at. Man! There... What? Whose... Like, whose leg do you have to hump for a dry martini over here? Just kidding. Whose leg do you have to hump for a melon seed over here? Just want my melons so I can get my healing potions. So how, was that too much to ask for? It probably is. It probably is. Ew! Leave me... Ew! Okay. Uh, nope, nothing's that way. Maybe, did I come here last time? I know there's this big open area where I found a second floor. Oh, uh, yes, I remember the mushrooms. Remember the mushrooms? Maybe it's this way. Yes, yes, yes. And then they go up here. And whoop, up, 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 and away! And there we go. Up here, is there anything? <laughs> Probably not. Of course. Of course. Nope. Down here, maybe? This way? This way? Yes, I have not been this way before. Definitely have not been this way. Pretty sure. <laughs> I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, I'm running out of food. I probably shouldn't be sprinting. Shouldn't be sprinting. Well, I guess I couldn't find any melon seeds. That is a, a sad moment in history. Well then, that was a waste of an episode. <laughs> At least I got to explore and share my life with you. Sometimes we don't get anything done when we want to. Alright. I'm gonna head back up. Gonna mind my way. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I can hear the purple singing. Oh! Scary. Okay. I can't sprint anymore, which means that's bad. Oh! You did it again. Stop it. Why you gotta be so grabbly? They see me grabbling. They hating. Patrolling and trying to catch me falling on them. Trying to catch me falling on them. <clears throat> Alright, I guess this episode's almost coming to an end. Better get out of this place before we wrap it up. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Um, oh, look, there we go. There's something. There's something. Oop, there's water. Oop, oh, gonna drop little club, clubs. Glub, glub, glub. Whoa, we escaped. Look at that. We are out of there. Where is my house? Where is my house? Oh, there it is. Look at that. That was quite a perfect exit, if I do say so myself. And we're going to come over here. And is that... No, I actually that's ready enough. To, yeah, we'll, we'll harvest it next time. All right, then. I guess that's pretty much it. We're going to go over here, kill this cow, and we are going to take his entrails for our sake of sprinting. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Survival, and hope you guys have a nice day, please. <laughs>